Greetings and salutations. My name is Tish and welcome to the Artist Haven, where home plus art equals heart. In tonight's live, we are going to do something fun and crazy and a little bit spectacular. Hold that thought. I forgot to turn my speaker off in the other room. Okay, apparently I forgot to turn off my notifications too because I heard my phone go off, so we're going to take care of that. There we go. All better. Okay. Looks like it's just you and me for a minute, Jay. Sorry, I'm trying to, like, there. <laughs> I had to like raise up the the phone a little bit, but not too high, because <laughs> it's like Kitty Wampus. It's still kind of Kitty Wampus, but hopefully it turns out okay. All right. Maybe I should have. I don't think I went online and. No, I think I did this morning. I don't remember what I did this morning. Alright. So. Still Kitty Wampus. <laughs> Here's me. Trying to figure it out. Alright. Because... According to my phone, this should be in the picture, but I'm looking at my laptop and it's not in picture. I don't know anymore. Okay. So, what I was going to do is pour on something that I've never seen pour not, porn, porn, poured on before no port port poured there we go um but i don't know i might change my mind and do something else well there's brooke hello brooke Oh, I'm having a hard time focusing today. This is a long day. At least I get an hour extra sleep. <laughs> so, anywho, what I was planning on doing, and now I'm like second guessing myself, because I'm kind of crazy and I do crazy things. But. I was at five below a little while ago and you know everything in five below is five dollars or less less hence forth the name five below and well me being me I'm like what can I do in here you know I, I went in looking for a way to hold my phone so it's been a, probably a month now since I was in there, but a way to hold my phone for my lives that wasn't because I it, my new phone doesn't fit in my selfie stick, so it's too wide. So yeah, I hit one hundred on Halloween, yay me! <laughs> so um, I'm looking around the store. I got my things that I need, you know, that I went in there for in the first place, and. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, what can I use? What can I use to do something funky and fun? Well, I found this. It's a tennis racket. It's a cheap tennis racket. I don't think I'd ever 
I mean, it's pretty firm, so you could probably play with it for a little while before all the strings went wonky and then you couldn't hit a balloon with it. But I thought we could do an acrylic pour over this. And I brought out, <clears throat> you know, I, t I did for do a little bit of forethought to this. I brought out my little paint triangles because I have a whole stack of these. I buy them at uh, Menards. There's your giggle, Jason. Um, I buy them at Menards whenever I see them. And I, th I just throw them in my cart, you know. They're like two bucks. So, and I always was forgetting them. So now I just buy a whole bunch because I lose them. They fall behind a table. They, you know, get shuffled around. I, I mean, I clean my studio and I find these everywhere all the time. So, yep, I am going to pour through a tennis racket. <laughs> right? It's, hey, it's Saturday shenanigans. So, you know, I had to live up to the name. I don't know what I'm going to do after this, but... <laughs> We'll find something else. Maybe we'll, if this turns out pretty cool, you know, here's my, here, here's my thing. I am willing to try anything three times. Okay. I got to try it three times. And if I don't like it on the third try, then I'm done. Or if I like it and then I don't like it and then I like it, then I do it a fourth time and break the top, you know, you know, that, that, you know, kind of keeps the ball rolling. Cause if I like it twice, then usually I'm going to like it a fourth time. But, so, I need to think about this a little bit, because I was thinking about it today at work, and I'm like, do I want to put it on triangles? Because, you know, I don't know if it'll balance. I got these little paint pots over here, they're in my way. Or, eh. see, it's not quite balancing. Because the racket end is heavy. So, you know, I suppose I could just put one of the paint pots back underneath there. And that'll hold it steady. So, what I did last week was ask for five colors. And then um, we did that one for. So... And that turned out smashingly. So, smashingly, and it's a tennis racket. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm a little tired. I get a little goofy. But, um, okay, I'm always goofy. But, um, so, I need two pieces of information. One, I'm going to need colors. And two, should we leave it on the try? Should we try it? flat first like we'll do the first one flat and then we'll do the next one on triangles you know and we'll, and then we'll decide which one we like better because i just went to hobby lobby and bought a bunch of canvases so i've got a bunch of these 16 by 20 so i'm thinking my my thinking is leave the triangles out this time but i do have them for next time so and we'll just pour on this ginormous canvas and then we'll do kind of a spiral, I think, and just kind of go around like this, kind of a tree ring pour maybe, but only more in a spiral. And we'll do, I don't know, whatever colors y'all come up with. So start throwing some colors at me, guys. Oh, that was the other thing when I, um, when I went to Hobby Lobby's. They had the the extreme sheen uh twenty four karat gold, so I bought it, <laughs> and that's the first thing I called Jason and because I wanted to hear his voice. I just had a bad day, and I wanted to hear his voice, so I was mixing paint while I was on the phone with him, and I don't know has anybody hello amber and uh, hello Elisa. The resin queen is in the house. Say without start. Oh golly. I would say start without triangles. My brain had fried too, but maybe blue, turquoise, green, and gold. Okay. Well, I've got various shades of blue. 
I've got a couple different turquoises. I got lots of green. I'm kind of, no offense, I'm kind of down on the green right now because I've poured a lot of green the last few days. So, um, but actually, I'm okay with it. But I got this. Now, has anybody else bought this? And it, it was really clumpy coming out of the bottle. I don't know if that's just because it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. Or if that's the way it's supposed to be. But I got it smooth out. It's really nice and smooth. I got a little bit of a mound going on. But turquoise, purple, and orange. You realize we're pouring this on a tennis racket, right? That's why this tennis racket is here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think we're going to do that, Brooke. I think we're going to go without the triangles on this time. And then the next time, we'll put it, we'll elevate it. Because I, I actually like colander pours that are elevated. Oh, I'm sorry, Amber. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. Yeah, we all have those 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 kind of people in our lives. Turquoise and yellow. I kind of like that idea. I want to kind of use the gold though, and I think the yellow, unless. We use the yellow ochre, and then I have a dark turquoise somewhere. Yeah, this isn't, this is more it's like, this is a really dark turquoise. And then, is this the yellow umber? No, that's the gold. That's the gold, that's the old gold. And then I have this. <laughs> okay so what do you think those two these two colors and the gold and what else I can't remember what you said Brooke I remember you said purple, or blue, or green. Hang on, I'm scrolling back. My brain is not really with it. Blue, turquoise, green, and gold. So we've got... Got the turquoise and, and this um, yellow ochre. Makes me think of ogres. And this teal, this is just a custom teal turquoise color. And then we need something for contrast though. Oh, I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. But I don't want to make mud. So, what do I got? Ow. Plus I want another, you know me, oh, here we go. Let's do the Payne's Gray. That'll be pretty. <laughs> I said green, but changed my mind. Oh, you guys and your oranges. Golly jeepers. <laughs> okay. So, let's do this in purple. But I gotta figure out a, how about metallic purple? This metallic purple I've got. Shall we? What do you think? Plus the gold. Plus the gold. This is orange enough. <laughs> it's kind of orangey. It's kind of an orangey yellow. It's pretty. It's the yellow I like. Ogres have layers, just like an onion. <laughs> No, you sound perfectly normal. <laughs> I'm 
now I have Shrek in my head. Thanks for that. Ooh, how about instead of, we don't want to do too many colors, but I want to try and make everybody happy here. But because this is copper and this is kind of orangey. But I like this. I think I'm just going to stick with this. Next time, next pour, we'll use copper instead of gold. Because I've got the, for those of you who weren't here in the beginning, it's okay. I get it. You guys, you know, take a minute. I found this Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. It was a Hobby Lobby for $2.99 and I used my 40% off coupon for it. Because everything else I bought was on sale or you can't use a coupon for. So, all right, we're going to do this. Okay, so I'm going to move the tennis racket and this canvas so I can do our, I'm going to do, I figured we'll do a layered cup. Because I don't want to make mud, but I don't want it to be boring either. I don't want to just dump color on there. So, hang on, I need some orange juice. I love Shrek. Okay, my youngest child <laughs> is going to be 17 in April. So... And I, I'd, I'd watch Shrek right now. I don't have a kid in the house. So, no. It's like Spongebob. Spongebob is more adult humor than kid humor. Okay, so we're going to use... <clears throat> excuse me. My throat. So we're going to use up this... This uh, satin enamel because I can and I think I'm gonna put some of this titanium white in here oh my goodness Roar. <laughs> I have no strength in my arms today my shoulders are screaming at me so because here's the deal I'm not having much luck with this satin enamel getting cloudy thing so um i'm thinking i don't know if my ratios are off but i've tried it with more satin enamel i've tried it with less and this is the closest i could come so i'm thinking i'm gonna add a little bit because this is getting really kind of thick which you know might be a good thing but it's like it's like a mound on top of a mound on top of a mound. So, I think what I'm going to do is just put some of this titanium white that I have already mixed up. And it's a little bit, it's still thick, but it's not as thick. So I'm going to put some of this in here. I'm going to stir it a little bit better. Because all the paint likes to go to the bottom, especially with titanium. So let's mix this up. Whoa. Plus, Hobby Lobby had their paints on sale, <laughs> their Master's Touch, and they're raising their prices on their Master's Touch stuff. So I saw a whole roll of $8.99 bottles of paint right next to $10.99 bottles of paint. So I like snagged all the titanium white that was $8.99. Because, yeah, I'm that girl. All right, so let's do this. Let's put a little bit of this in there. And we'll see what happens. There. Mad scientist. I figured if we're going to do y'all crazy and shenanigans, might as well go for broke. Okay. Well, we're going to stir this more, but I want to put a lid on this guy before I spill. What's, there's not much left in there. So, this is how thick it is. Check this out. That's how thick it is. <laughs> and I've been watching this one girl, and I can't remember her name. I have to write down names. Like, for the longest time, when I was first doing that the y one, YT100 challenge, I had to write everybody's channel down and their name down next to it. So I could remember everybody's names. And I'm still having a hard time with it. But 
I named my children and I have a hard time remembering their names. So you wouldn't use I know, I, I figured if there's no set, you know what the thing is, is I haven't been able to get the cloud effect at all. I mean, a little bit. But I'm actually having more luck with it with the blue house paint that's a satin enamel than I am with this stuff. And the blue house paint I got for two bucks. And it's a big, huge bottle. And this thing was like four. So, <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not giving up. I'm just trying to use this up so I can start from scratch and try a different thing. So it's not, I'm not going for the cloud effect. I'm just, I'm just using it. Since we're just doing this anyways, why not? I mean, I've got other white we could use if I, if I wanted to, but I want to use this stuff up so I can, one, I want to wash up this container because yeah, the threads are getting a little wonky and yeah, so Here's me stirring and then wiping the stick. Okay, that's the last time, I promise. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of white in here. Okay, whoa, there must be static in that cup. And then we're gonna do, let's do, I think all the, yeah, these are all opaques, unless the paint's gray is translucent. Nope, we've got all opaques here. So, because the, yeah. So let's do, what do we think here? This. Let's do this, this gold no mm -hmm. you ever do this like play musical chairs with the paint to figure out how you want to pour it because <laughs> I don't want to put this on top of this but I don't want to put the yellow right next to the purple because I don't want to get too much mud and then these two it'll make it kind of dark but yeah we'll see what happens geez everybody's be right back everybody gotta go on a potty break good thing we're not all in the same house <laughs> okay so yeah it is a definitely love hate relationship and it's borderline on 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 uh What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, acquaintances. <laughs> I'm not friends with it yet. So. Okay. I, I, I bought... Now, this is one of the experiments that I'm going to do on one of the lives here. Hang on. Oh, I forgot I bought that one. I bought... I'm going to show you. Hang on. It's right here. It just kind of... I got to clean all the hates. But this is um, house paint, but it's interior satin acrylic enamel. So, and this is Dutch Boy, and I paid like four bucks for it. Less than... It was three fifty, I think. And I got it at 11% off. So, you know, like three bucks. And it's the same size. Well, it's a little bit smaller than the Deco Art. So I was going to try that one and see what happened with it. But I haven't gotten that far yet. This overtime at work has me all kinds of crazy. Okay, I don't want to put too much in there. <clears throat> Amber thank you for stopping by honey you have a good night <laughs> take me to the potty with the you know what I do the same thing 
So I can't really laugh too loud. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of this in there. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. Oh, I can't imagine with that hundred. Oh, I don't even know how you did all hundred colors. I would have been like, dude, it would take you eight hours just to mix paint. Ugh. I don't know how you did it. Oh, I just, oh no, I didn't break it. Yay. <laughs> I thought I broke it, but I didn't. Yay. Okay. So we're going to put this on top of that and we're going to do it all kinds of, there we go. And then we're going to put some of this gold on top. Do a little dollop of white. Just kind of put the white on top. The white is sinking to the bottom. That's okay. I'm just was gonna put some more of the purple on there, but it's sinking to the bottom. Do a little bit of the purple again. A little bit of the blue. Or the gray, I guess you call it. A little bit of that. Whoa, a little bit of that. A little bit of gold. And a little bit of white. Right. Ta da! <laughs> okay, now we gotta put up these paints away so I have room for my canvas. I know I'm excited too. This is either gonna be a hot mess or totally awesome. I'm hoping for you know tolerable <laughs> cause you know I don't want a hot mess. That'd be sad. Okay, let's get these out of the way. And I wore my paint clothes to work today, so that way, because I knew I wanted to stop at Hobby Lobby, because today was the last day of the 50% off paint sale, so I wanted to get on that action. <clears throat> and I knew I wasn't going to have time, much time, because, you know, there's no such thing as a quick trip to any craft store for me. <laughs> it's like even Michael's like, I have to walk around the whole store to make sure I don't miss anything. You know, what if something else is on sale? What if something is, what if something is on clearance? Oh my gosh. Welcome back, Elisa. Okay, so we poured that, ooh, you almost dumped the cup. Okay, so I'm going to move that out of the way. We're going to move this guy out of the way. Oh yeah, and I'm retiring that other piece of crap scale. I went into the kitchen and grabbed my kitchen scale. So now I got to go buy a scale. Sometimes the hot mess ends up drying. I know. Okay, so what I do with the canvas? Oh yeah, it's over here. <laughs> I still gotta eat supper, but I Quick Trip, which is a gas station, um, here just started selling like fried chicken and chicken strips. So and they had chicken strips in the cooler case, like ones that they had out for sale, but they didn't sell right away, so they put them in the cooler, and they're selling them cold, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. So I chop, bring them home, chop them up, put some mayonnaise and some onion and some garlic powder and some pepper and made chicken salad. So 
my chicken salad for the weekend. Okay. Clearance is my favorite word. I know. I used to drive my ex-husband batty. Okay, so I'm going to kind of center this-ish. You know, kind of there and kind of there. Whoop. Kind of there. And should I do it close or should I kind of bring it up high, do you think? I'm just wondering how the... Because I'm going to do it. I'm thinking I'm going to do it in a circle, like a spiral. Should I bring it, like, keep it a tight spiral? Or should I just bring it out and let them pour on top of each other? I know now I'm hungry. Oh, wait, the wild play tonight. Ah, oh, dude. I drove my ex-husband to the opposite coast. <laughs> I don't even know where my ex-husband is. Okay, up high. Should I do a circle? Or like a spiral? And bring it all the way out? Or should I just stay like a tree ring pour and just let it kind of flow underneath? Tight-ish. At first I thought it said... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> PG-13, 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 PG-13. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Well, and <clears throat> Jason's coming to a different country. Okay, tight. All right, here we go. Saying a prayer to the pink gods. All right. Wow, I used up all the paint. Well, almost all of it. Next time I'm going to put silicone in the cup. So it kind of comes out. All right. Now I got to figure out what I'm going to do with this hot mess. Here I got I got an idea. And I have a piece of cardboard where? Somewhere. I thought I had cardboard over here. Dude. Really? <sighs> Let's see. Well, we'll just use a little piece of this wood. That'll work. I kind of want it right on my... Er. Okay. I'm trying to make a kind of a makeshift table here. There we go. Alright. Here we go. Now lift the racket slowly and then we're going to wipe it off over here so I don't drip any paint. And it's gonna, just kind of wiping off the strings here. Wiping the paint off the strings. <laughs> that looks bleeping cool. Okay, so there we go. Get that out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Yeah, I think I got clouds too. We're going to put just a little bit around the edge here. I'll take my 
Elisa, I almost bought silicone uh, paint brushes today. Almost. Just because of that video that you did with the with the silicone and the silicone paint brushes. And I was like, oh, those are like the ones Elisa had. And I'm like, no, Tish, no. You need to walk out of here under $200. And I walked out of there just a hair, just a tish off of a hundred. So, and I got enough canvases for the next month. So, and enough paint for a while. Okay, so let's move this out and move it around. Mm -mm -mm. Should I torch it now or should I torch it later? I don't like torching it before, but I'm, it's just because it's already got cool cells. Let's just see what happens, eh? Okay, so I got a lot over here, so let's kind of bring it around town. Told you I like Spongebob. My son used to play, my youngest son used to play uh, Spongebob on the PlayStation 2. Or was it Play? Yeah, PlayStation 2. I don't remember, but it was the one with the, uh, the captain, the, the pirate captain. And he was always talking about his booty. It's Mr. Desert Man. Hello. So grateful you could make it tonight. I did see your comment the other from um, the other day. I just when I have to work, my anxiety goes through the roof, and so I kind of my memory is attached to my anxiety, and I forget to do things like oh I don't know reply to comments. So it's nothing against you. It's just, it's me. It's all me. And it's truly all me. I'm glad you're feeling better. Mr. Desert Man, you are, are missed. You gotta keep the balance, the ratio of men to women here at least somewhat, <laughs> somewhat uh, reasonable. Okay. So, you would torch... Do you see all those cells already, though? Okay. <laughs> Your muggle job. That's perfect. I need to call it that. Mike will think I'm crazy, but he already thinks I'm crazy. Everybody thinks I'm crazy there, so it's okay. I would just, you know, Tish is just a Tish off. I know, honey. I know you were down and out, and I just, I feel bad for you. I mean, not, I don't feel sorry for you, but being not able to do certain things because your pain is so bad, it just makes me sad. Because I know how much you enjoy your painting. It's Amazon. I have an Amazon order. Honey, I can give you more than a little kickback. Because I need to order paint off of Amazon. Because I am refusing to go to where I used to go for my paint. They're very rude people. So. Alright, I'm torching. Whoop the. Where did that come from? Okay. Oh my god, this is amazing. Hopefully I don't ruin it. Because <laughs> I would. I've taken a perfectly good painting and ruined it. And then I scraped it and poured it again, and it turned out better the second time, so we're just going to go with it. Okay, I do see a little bit of goobish right here, so I'm going to take my little... Uh, 
My popsicle sticks are all sticking together. Who stacked them up together? Tish. Jeez. Yeah, there's a little goober right there. So we're just going to take him off and put him right there. I, I'm, I'm grateful that you're here. All of you. Because this is so cool. Okay. So... I'm just going to kind of do a, just a, a low-grade kind of circular thing because I think all of it's cool. There's not an area that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to pick this up and we're just going to go slowly, slowly. Might take me longer to do the tipping. Than it did to do the pour. And oh my God. And I mean oh my God. The paint gods are happy with me tonight. Because this that 24 karat gold. If it, if it dries like this. Oh my Lanta. I'm in love. Sorry Jay. But <laughs> you're not replaced by gold paint, but I got to share some of my love with this gold paint. Oh, and a shout out to D Mr. D. Mr. Duncan, not that he'll probably ever watch these, but it's his birthday today. That Mr. D. Duncan is Jason's son. All right, let's go back to the middle. I'm going to get full circle here. There we go. Let's go to the middle. Okay. <laughs> tilt, tilt, tilt. We're all about to get codified below. Get your tennis racket. Okay, so I really like this corner on my left, this one right here. So I am going to tip it this way first. We're just going to kind of bring it down. This way, a little bit, a little bit. There we go. Bring it back. Okay, back to center, and then I'm going to kind of use my hand to keep it from coming off. And I'm trying not to hit, I have, I still haven't set up my good pouring station yet. Oh, we're losing it. Okay, there we go. All right, bring it back. All right, let's set this down for a second. My hands off little paint. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around. And we're going to kind of There we go. Bring it back. Oh, 
I gotta set it down. Oh, there we go. Keep tapping it back this way. I'm going to tip it this way. All right, what do you think, guys? I like negative space. I don't know about the rest of you, but I like this part. You know, I like this here. I need to take a break though. I need to sit down and just kind of breathe because I've been holding my breath this whole time. <laughs> it's like, oh, don't breathe. It might tip wrong. This is why I don't like tilting. This is right here. Why I don't like tilting. Right here. This. This. <laughs> Breathing is not an option. Okay. So. I... <laughs> Um, I think the first try with the tennis racket is, is pretty successful. And I think, <laughs> I think next time when we do this, um, um, we will use the satin enamel paint and see if it turns out this cool. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not alone, Brooke. Thank you for holding your breath with me. I'm just like, don't screw this up, Tish. Don't screw it up. Okay. So. I'm going to hit it one more time with the torch. Just because I can. But. I'll bring it up to the paint camera so y'all can see it too. But. I want to get. I want to get it while the getting's good. Opa, trying to find some white, but I don't have any more white. I gotta get some out of the bucket. Cause I didn't get this corner quite right. Actually, I can just kinda swipe it over. That's working. Cause I just want it over the edge. I don't necessarily need to be perfect. I just find that. Oh, now it's being, now it's being <coughs> obtuse. That corner needed help. It needed help. The more I look at this, the more I'm like, whoa, dude. Okay. Make sure we don't have any green on there. So I did get green on the corner. That's why I'm going to try and cover up here. I don't even know if you can see me or not. I'm down in the bottom corner. There we go. If I need to, I'll come back with a paintbrush and some white paint. It's all right. I'm okay with that. Holy Toledo. And <laughs> be a cool kid. Garage sale. Dude, sincerely, garage sale. You can get one probably for cheaper than I got mine. Okay, I'm going to torch this one more time just, just to get the remaining air bubbles. All 
All right. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm gonna turn this, cause I wanna get all the drippies off too, but this is a really big canvas, y'all. Okay, so, <laughs> try not to bump things, but there you go. Why is Adam messaging me on Facebook? Oh, lucky you. Our garage sales are pretty much done for up here. Okay. I'm going to put that down before I drop it. I kind of gave you a look. This corner down here. Hang on a second. I'm going to move this so y'all can see better. I'm just like shaking. I don't want to, I don't want to touch it anymore. <laughs> I'm going to screw it up. Okay. So. Move this up so you guys can see this bottom corner. Because this bottom corner is a whoop to do. That's okay. That's the side. That's the thing about the sides. You can always go back and, and touch them up if you need to. Hopefully... This stops moving. I'm gonna cut I'm gonna go eat some supper and then I'll come back out once it sets up a little bit and I'll wipe the drippies off. So I know I'm like impressed with myself. I'm like, whoa dude, this is actually pretty trippy and cool. <laughs> I mean so most of my paintings I'm like, oh that's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. But look at this the 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 bop. Holy Toledo. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull myself back together. Look at this, though. Look at that. Oh, my Atlanta. And this is kind of geodish up here. I mean, it's gray, but it's not mud. You know, it's not that brown blah. It's it's gray, the white and, and the paint's gray mixed together, and I'm content with that. Okay, don't mind me as I... I've been tipping all my paint cups in the same cup, because I'm just going to do like a flip cup pour. So I took one of my little practice cups and I put it in there. But I'm going to put this paint in here like a so. That way it all kind of runs together. And I use the tape to hold it together. Or the... I'm going to get that out of the way because I was afraid I was going to tip that right on my painting. So that's why we're getting it out of the way. Okay. Well, I say the first pour on a tennis racket is successful. So, I don't think I have that many drippies. So, maybe next Saturday we will try different colors and different things. Maybe we'll just do something all together different and maybe do a, a, one of these again another time. I don't know. We'll we'll. Saturday shenanigans is going to be us doing some crazy stuff. You guys always get to pick the colors. And maybe even if you can find, if you think of something that you've been wanting to pour on, but you haven't had access to it, or you don't know, you know, you don't have an idea, you know, I don't know. You have an idea, but you don't know how to execute it. Well, that's what this is all about. Let's get, let's have some shenanigans, have some fun. And I'm afraid to touch this anymore, but I wanted to get the drippies off because I think it's moving off. But 
it's really not it's just all my imagination so make sure we're still level ish yep not love in the middle though I love the edges. Okay. There we go. I'm good. Absolutely. Think outside the box. I mean... Now, we're... Okay, so next Saturday, we will do a tennis racket pour again but we're going to use different paints we won't use the satin enamel and see if we get this kind of selling craziness we'll use just plain old titanium white and some metallics and some other things but this this deco art extreme sheen yeah i'm going to go back to hobby lobby with my other 40 percent off coupon and just kind of keep stocking up on that because that's awesome this gold is phenomenal and I don't see it moving because I'm watching my thing when I pour a really cell rich painting is I pick out little cells that are close to the edge and I watch them and I kind of give like a one finger, men, you know, like a little finger measurement and know where it's at. So that way when I come back, I'm like, okay, that if that little cell goes off the edge, then I know that it's still running. You know, or vice versa. And I might have, it might be just that slightly bit off kilter. So. Hundred points to Gryffindor. I love you, Brooke. <laughs> yep, it's just, uh, Daphne. The Tiger's Eye, definitely. Yep, um, the Extreme Sheen. 24 karat gold deco art. I just went to Hobby Lobby tonight. It's $2.99 here. Use my 40% off coupon. Because it was the only thing I could use my coupon on. Because they had, um, here in Minnesota, they had the Master's Touch paint on sale. So I got a cubic butt ton <laughs> of titanium white. Because they have their um, heads up. They're marking up the uh, uh, the Master's Touch paints. So be on the lookout for that. Um, oh. Use it. Yes, use it. I still have um, this copper, the Dazzling Metallics. The, the worn penny. I love copper. Copper is like one of my favorite metallics. And then I've used this one before. This is the pink tourmaline. I think that's how you say it. And then I've got this extreme sheen ruby. So I haven't even mixed these up yet. They're still sealed. So yeah, we're gonna... I've used this one before. This pink is amazing. And I don't like pink. But this red, that's one of the ones that I want to mix up. But with this overtime... Ugh, I don't get to do anything fun. <laughs> Murr. Yep. This is still moving a little bit. Not much, though. Just a dabble. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm afraid there... Because there have been mornings when I first started doing this. Um... When I first started doing the acrylic pours, that I'd be all excited because it turned out really cool. And then I'd wake up in the morning and it was gone. The whole thing. Like gone. There's like strips of paint. Color. Here and there. And I was like, damn it! <laughs> Got back down on my knees. Sent a little prayer to the paint gods. And eventually I figured it out. You know? my first My first paint pour was not... A pour like this it was a balloon smash and a, and a string pull because the consistency of paint I could figure out that paint I figured out because it's like it's like royal icing I mean Mr. Desert Man you'll understand you understand royal icing you went to school for patisserie just like I did royal icing is a bitch 
And I say that with the kindest heart. But Ooh, obsidian. Ooh, what is the one that I had? Can't remember if it was Extreme Sheen or just the me regular metallics, but it was Onyx. I think. I don't know. I'll find it later. But for now, because I don't know what time. Yeah, it's 7.30. This girl needs to go to bed. <laughs> I need to wash my hands, make myself a chicken salad sandwich, and call Jason for a little bit, and go to bed. Even though I get it, hey y'all, well, most of y'all, roll your clocks back, it's a fall back daylight savings. Except for some people who don't do the daylight savings, I won't name any names, but y'all get a free hour of sleep. Yeah, yeah, that uh, I, I've seen, uh, uh, yeah, I I could buy one of each of those uh, Decker Art Extreme Sheens, but I've been good. Takes forever to find the right consistency. Yeah, I can see that. Exact. well, you, hey, Mr. Desert Poor, <laughs> Mr. Desert Man, I, you said it, not me. I'm just, I love this corner right here. I just love this. Just love it. Please don't go. Please stay where you're at. Please stay just like that. Don't make me cry. I've already cried twice today. And this, this is so cool. This is, you know what? This is almost like, okay, there's so much going on around here. This is almost like negative space. Almost. It's like a secondary negative space. Because I left the corners. Because I'll have to go back and touch those up before I seal this. And there is no silicone nor any astroglide in this. Yeah, if you're in a different country. Well, if you're in a different country, yes. Daylight savings may not even be a thing. Because if you're in a different state... <laughs> It doesn't mean a thing. But I'm going to go get some food. On your way out, y'all, if you like this video, please smash that like button. And if you like this video and really think someone else would like it, share it, share it, share it. Please, 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 please. And if you're new to our channel, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and that'll let you know when we go live again, because we're doing this every night until December 30th, 2019. Every night, no matter how tired I am, we're doing this, because I'm stubborn like that. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> okay. Anything else I forgot? I can't remember. Oh, how could I forget? Thank you all for joining me. I am grateful you spent some time with me today. Peace, love, and happiness.